The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Colossians. So then, as you receive Jesus as Lord in Christ, now live your lives in Him. Be rooted in Him and built up on Him, held firm by the faith you have been taught, and overflowing with thanksgiving. Make sure that no one captivates you with the empty lure of a philosophy of the kind that human beings hand on, based on the principles of this world and not on Christ. In Him, in bodily form, lives divinity in all its fullness, and in Him you too find your own fulfillment, in the One who is the head of every sovereignty and ruling force. In Him you have been circumcised, with a circumcision performed not by human hand, but by the complete stripping of your natural self. This is circumcision according to Christ. You have been buried with Him by your baptism, by which too you have been raised up with Him through your belief in the power of God who raised Him from the dead. You were dead because you were sinners and uncircumcised in body. He has brought you to life with Him. He has forgiven us every one of our sins. He has wiped out the record of our debt to the law which stood against us. He has destroyed it by nailing it to the cross, and He has stripped the sovereignties and the ruling forces and paraded them in public behind Him in His triumphal procession. And our response from Psalm 145. I shall praise you to the heights, God my King. I shall bless your name forever and ever. Day after day I shall bless you. I shall praise your name forever and ever. Yahweh is tenderness and pity, slow to anger, full of faithful love. Yahweh is generous to all. His tenderness embraces all his creatures. All your creatures shall thank you, Yahweh, and your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingship and tell of your might. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Now it happened in those days that Jesus went on to the mountain to pray, and he spent the whole night in prayer to God. When day came, he summoned his disciples and picked out 12 of them. He called them apostles. Simon, whom he called Peter and his brother, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He then came down with them and stopped at a piece of level ground where there was a large gathering of his disciples with a great crowd of people from all parts of Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon who had come to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. People tormented by unclean spirits were also cured and everyone in the crowd was trying to touch him because power came out of him that cured them all the Gospel of the Lord.